My name is Gong Cheng, and today I'm going to talk about our recent work, Geometry Guided Adaptation for Road Segmentation. Road segmentation has become an important computer vision problem, which has been applied to many areas, for example, autonomous driving and road condition assessment. Nowadays, with the help of deep neural networks, supervised road segmentation can perform well when the training and test sets are from the same data set with similar visor lighting and viewing conditions. However, performance drops substantially when training and the test data are drawn from distinct data sets, particularly when visor lighting or viewing geometry shift. Here, we propose a novel domain adaptation algorithm for exploring whether a classic geometric method can be used to automatically adapt neural networks to new weather, lighting, and viewing conditions. The key idea is that this classic geometric method embodies an expertise that is to some degree independent of the expertise encoded in the neural network. This complementary expertise can therefore potentially be used as a teaching signal. In general, there are three main contributions in our work. First, we propose the novel road vanishing point detection algorithm. Second, we propose the novel geometry guided domain adaptation algorithm for adapting a neural network to novel wiser lighting and viewing conditions. Third, we propose the novel road segmentation data set, Toronto 2020, with varying conditions inside. And this data set will be published soon. First, let's talk about the data site and the training inference scheme. In total, five data sets have been used for the algorithm development and, and evaluation. Four of them are existing semantic or row segmentation data sets, and the fifth one is our novel proposed row segmentation data set. To study the problem of domain adaptation for row segmentation, we conduct a five-fold leave one out cross-validation experiment. In each fold, four of the data sets are employed as source domain data sets with the ground truth labels provided, and the fifth is employed as a holdout and labeled the targeted data set. We aim to train on the source data sets and test on the unlabeled targeted test set. Unlabeled target training set is only used for unsupervised domain adaptation. Now let's briefly discuss the implementation of our algorithm. As can be seen from this flowchart, the implementation involves three stages, supervised training, unsupervised adaptation, and inference. In the stage 1, supervised training, the availability of ground truth pixel level labels and vanishing points for the source domain images allow us to pre-train both appearance and geometry-based row segmentation subsystems. In the appearance subsystem, we train a signet using the ground truth source domain segmentation labels and their corresponding RGB images. In the geometry subsystem, the pixel level ground truth labels and vanishing points from the source are used to form a geometric prior for the location of the road in the target domain. We also propose the novel vanishing point detection algorithm for the geometric prior acquisition which can mitigate the impact of varying camera parameters between the source and target data sites and within the target data site. Our novel vanishing point estimation algorithm consists of three steps. First, land detection. Second, intersection detection. Third, kernel density estimation. As can be seen from this example, we have the input target image for vanishing point detection, which is shown in the subfigure A. We first do line detection and generate line segments on it. The result is shown in subfigure B. Next, we elongate the segment to straight lines and then find all the pair by the intersections between every pair of lines. The intersections are shown in subfigure C. And finally, we do kernel density estimation, KDE, on the intersections and pick the arc maximum of the KDE as our estimated vanishing point. The final estimated vanishing point is shown in subfigure E, and subfigure F shows the corresponding ground truth vanishing point, which is labeled by a human labeler. More results are shown in this page. 
Once the stage 1 is done, the system is ready to move to the unsupervised adaptation stage for adapting unlabeled target information to the previous system. And the key hypothesis of this step is that geometry-driven estimate embodies knowledge that is to some degree independent of the expertise learned by the network, and thus can serve as a teaching signal to adapt the neural network to the new domain. To implement the unsupervised domain adaptation, we first generate surrogate labels for the target images and fine-tune the network which is training on the source domain that we got in the stage 1. The example below shows how to generate the surrogate labels for the fine-tuning. Subfigure A shows the geometry prior that we got from the source domain. When we have an input target domain image which is shown in subfigure B, we first do vanishing point detection on it and then anchor the geometry, geometry prior to, accord, <coughs> to it accordingly to estimate the vanishing point. The result is shown in subfigure C. Since the geometry prior provides us a pixel level probabilities, we next generate a try mask from the prior, which consists of a high confident foreground region, high confident background region, and the intermediate region. We only use the high confident foreground and background regions to compute the adaptation loss, and we're going to ignore the intermediate region. And finally, let's talk about the inference. We tried two ways to do the inference. First, directly output the fine tuning soft max, and then do thread holding at point 5. Second, fusing the geometry, geometry prior with the parent soft max result under a Bayesian framework. The performance evaluation is shown in the table below. As we mentioned before, fivefold Li1 cross validation has been used. We compare the segmentation results between the source trained segment, geometric segmentation, softmax result of our method, fusion result of our method, and the state of the art GAN based domain adaptation alg algorithm named Adapt Segment. As can be seen, overall, our algorithm performs as well as the game based method, and we lead three out of all five tracks. We also try to combine our methods with the adapt set night using major voting, and the result is shown in the last column. More qualitative comparisons are shown in this page. Column A shows the input of target image. Column B shows the corresponding ground truth. Column C shows the results of a segment training on the source domain. Column D shows the results of a geometric segmentation. And column E shows the softmax results of our method. Column F shows the fusion results of our method. And column G shows the results generated from ad adapt segment. And here is the references of this presentation. And finally, thank you for watching this presentation. For more details, please check our paper or our project page.